What's up guys, Jake here with Jake Scott Herps, not to be confused with Herpes, Herpes is nasty. In this video I'm going to be doing another contest entry, this one's for Michael Behrens. Uh, thank you for putting on this contest, I really like entering contests and I really like the whole idea of a contest because, you know, whether you're winning an animal or just a shout out, you're still earning what you get, you know, it's not just like a free whatever, although it is in a sense, you know, you still have to earn it. And uh, I just like the whole idea of a contest because... You know, it really helps out the channel that's doing it. You know, they get a lot of exposure, and it's a fun way to make another video, uh, for me anyway, without spamming the same thing over and over again, because, you know, I, I do a lot of the same videos, or a lot of videos that are, you know, quite similar, and, uh, you know, they do get a little bit monotonous at times, so this is a fun way to do more videos, and obviously there are prizes, but even if you don't win, it's still, you know, fun to make. So thanks for putting on the contest. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description if you want to check it out because he's got a lot of awesome bearded dragons. That's like his thing. I'm not huge into bearded dragons, uh, but you know I still have eyes and I can still tell, you know, what animals look really pretty. And he's definitely got the majority of the animals that are really appealing to the eye. So if you like bearded dragons, definitely go check out his channel and subscribe. So anyway, let's get on with. The video, it obviously wouldn't be a Jake Scott Herp video if I uh, didn't have like a minute and a half long intro. But for this tank setup video, I'm going to be showing you my soft shell turtle. You can probably see him. He's right there. He did have his head out just a second ago. But I think he really deserved a new enclosure more than any of my other animals just because he was crammed in another 20 gallon long aquarium with four other turtles. And, uh, you know, it wasn't really the best for him because obviously it's kind of cramped. And I'm sure they picked on him, you know, he's a soft shell turtle, he's got a long goofy neck and a pointy nose and he, a soft shell, so I'm sure he was the Rudolph of the bunch, they didn't let him play in the turtle games and, you know, whatever, he probably wanted to be a dentist too, but uh, he definitely needed a new enclosure because obviously it was cramped and because the substrate was gravel and that doesn't really stimulate natural burrowing behavior, uh, you know, even if he does burrow, it's probably not very comfortable with a bunch of rocks on top of you. So I uh, made this new setup. I've been working on it pretty much all week. Uh, obviously, there's sand, which is super important for soft shell turtles to uh, stimulate that natural burrowing behavior. And he's definitely a lot more calm now that uh, he has it. He feels more secure because, you know, he's hidden for the most part. Sometimes I walk in here and it takes me a couple minutes to find him until he sticks his, you know, giraffe neck out of the sand. So uh, that's pretty important. Other features of the tank are there's live plants, and I really like these two plants. I'm probably going to get a couple more kind of similar to it. They're really cheap. They're only like a dollar, and um, they give the tank kind of a cool feel. It almost looks like a beach if you use your imagination. You know, the sand is white quartz sand, and, uh, you know, it almost looks like beach grass, so I kind of like the feel it gives to the tank. I also have three red wag platies. I'm not sure where the other one is, but there are three of them. I also have that little sucker, if you can see him right there. And I also have a black mystery snail, who also basically has the same purpose as the sucker, just eat algae off the tank. And uh, I like how it's sort of a mini ecosystem in here. You know, there's obviously the UVB that uh, helps the plants produce oxygen, and the fish use the oxygen and produce CO2. So it's kind of like, you know, a big ecosystem cycle on a really small scale. Uh, you know, so I think it's pretty cool. Other things in the tank are there's the air rock because I don't think these two little plants can produce enough oxygen for the whole tank. There is the turtle dock there. Uh, a lot of people think that soft shell turtles don't need it, but contrary to popular belief, they do need a basking area or at least some place to get dry if they uh, choose to. I also have this big rock formation. It looks really cool and he likes to, you know, sit on top of it. Uh, normally these things are pretty expensive, but this was on clearance, so uh, that's pretty cool. There's a heater right there. It keeps the tank at 72 degrees. Um, it didn't have suction cups with it for whatever reason, so I put these two slate rocks on it, and now it's kind of cool because there's like a little hide almost. And then there's the filter. I chose this kind of filter over one that's like a hanging aquarium one because then I can use a lid, and I don't want uh, my little Rubens escaping. So, yeah, there he is. I'm really glad I made this setup for him, uh, you know, he definitely deserved it, and he's a lot happier now that he has it, and he's a lot more active, and I think it's just better for both of us. You know, he when he's happy, I'm happy, uh, and I do get to see a lot more of him now. So, yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, uh, and good luck to everybody else who enters. And like I said, I'll leave uh, the link to his channel 
in the description if you guys want to check it out or enter the contest yourself. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.